The Galaxy S4 may be one of the most anticipated smartphones of the year, but Samsung can invent the wheel all the time, so I'm Jaime Rivera. This is Pocket Now, and these are our top 5 predictions of what we'll get on the Samsung Galaxy S4. Number 5, a similar design to the Galaxy S3, and this is actually not a bad thing. A lot of people are already complaining about the leaked photos out there of the Galaxy S4 and stating that Samsung is not changing much, but again, some people have just bought their Galaxy S3. The design was actually quite cool, quite different to any other smartphone in the market, so I don't consider it a bad thing for Samsung to retain the same design, but obviously that same design does involve the fact that Samsung has to raise the bar somewhere else, so let's talk about our next prediction. Number 4 is improved specs, and just think about it, if Samsung keeps the same design as the Galaxy S3, they need to make that thing fly when it comes to speed, and the Galaxy S3 was no slouch, but we already have the HTC One rocking the Snapdragon 600, and we do have rumors that the Galaxy S4 will retain that same processor in certain areas, like the United States, and then in Europe we'll have the Exynos 5 octa-core processor, though we still have not seen just how fast that octa-core processor is compared to the Snapdragon 600. So again, improved specifications when it comes to the chipset, more RAM, and probably definitely a better camera. We also know that the Galaxy S4 could bring that 13.1 megapixel camera that's already been seen on the Sony Xperia Z. We do know that Samsung and Apple use the same sensors that are made by Sony. And with the HTC One dropping that camera to only 4 megapixels, this is really where Samsung can pull the edge. If it's not with the plastic, it could be with the camera, so stay tuned. Number 3, a smarter operating system. Samsung has done a great job with TouchWiz in making it the most fluid and most reliable of the launchers out there for any smartphone manufacturer, but still, it looks very gimmicky, and at the same time, it does bring a lot of smart features that have also been gimmicky. It would be great to see Samsung pull off, again, the same design, beefier specs, and also a smarter operating system, a device that actually brings features that are completely different to anything else in the market in order for it to stand out from the crowd because we have seen HTC Sense 5 and iOS 7 is actually being rumored to be something cool so Samsung does need to raise the bar right now whether they like it or not. Number two, and believe it or not, we do believe that Samsung will bring S Pen functionality to the Galaxy S4. Now, we don't see that Samsung will bundle this as something you can pull in and out of the phone. Most likely, the S Pen will be retailed out there for you to buy on the Galaxy S4, but it will not fit on the device. Most likely, Samsung will make this phone much thinner, or they could probably bring a thinner S Pen. But we do know that Samsung bought Wacom, or Wacom as they're actually called, and we do know that they want to bring this technology to as many smartphones as they can not necessarily the Galaxy Note 2. And seriously, the Galaxy Note 2, as big as it is, well, the S Pen actually makes that phone stand out, so the Galaxy S4 will most likely also bring that functionality. Again, the C Pen was a big, big disappointment, and we do hope to see this technology make it to the Galaxy S4 as well. And finally, our top number one prediction for the Samsung Galaxy S4 is one more thing. And I mean one more thing that we still don't know about. And the reason why is because, well, the Sony Xperia Z is a beautiful smartphone with all the specs. And then we've got the HTC One, which is another beautiful smartphone with all the specs. And then we'll have the iPhone 5S, which will be a beautiful smartphone with hopefully iOS 7. So Samsung really needs to pull some guns here. If they plan to keep the same design as the Galaxy S3, they really need to bring something to the market market that's completely unique, something that's completely different that's not marketing on billboards and on bathrooms. They need to figure something out that's not necessarily just putting the smartphone on style, but something that makes you want to have a Galaxy S4. So that leads me to the question of this top five. Um, what would be that top five, that top number one killer feature, that one more thing that you would love on the Galaxy S4? Just use your imagination. What would you want on the Galaxy S4? I would want something better than S Voice, something that's better than Siri. I would really love some artificial intelligence on this phone. And obviously, yes, I would want an S Pen. So leave us a comment down below. What would be that one more thing that you would love? That's it for today's top five. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Jaime Rivera. Be sure to follow us on your social network of choice. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Thanks for watching. See you on March 14th. Let's see what happens with Samsung's Galaxy S4.
Ah, the Galaxy S4. This is one of the most anticipated smartphones of the year, and it's also one of Samsung's best kept secrets. We've been trying to find leaks of this device for the longest time, and still we don't have much to talk about. So join us on Thursday, March 14th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, as we will have a full hangout happening live. We will also have Brandon Miniman and Michael Fisher at the event, and Adam Lane will also be at Times Square, New York City, covering everything that happens live. So join us again on our YouTube channel. You will see links on our website as soon as this happens. So see you there.